In 1972, I had the opportunity to develop an instant videotape news release service for the McGovern presidential bid in California. The requirements were speed, portability, and broadcast quality. Our goal was to record the candidate on location, giving a speech in the morning at various locations throughout the state, then duplicate up to 50 copies of excerpts of that speech on location for distribution immediately to TV stations for play that day. This was back in 1972. Umatic three-quarter inch did not exist as a broadcastable format then. One inch was just barely time-based correctable. We did accomplish the goal and in doing so did one of the first minicam type of video coverages. With a modified Sony studio camera, at that time the smallest available reasonably priced color camera with broadcastable color pictures, we did several modifications. First was to remove the conventional back of the camera viewfinder. We then bought a Panasonic one-inch TV receiver and converted it to a video monitor, placing it in the front of the camera right near the lens. With a custom-designed shoulder harness, we had our mini cam. We still had to run the cable to a small CCU, then to an IVC one-inch VTR. We would select a portion of the scene we wanted, dub it through an old analog type of time-based corrector, and record it onto a VR3000 where we even used film rewinds to cut the individual tapes for each station. It all fit nicely into a VW microbus, and it amazes me today that the whole thing held together for some ten consecutive days of shooting. It wasn't until the fall of 1973 that the first commercially available minicam in the under $30,000 range became available. Hidden away in a quiet corner of the 1973 NAB convention in Washington, D.C., was a Japanese company called Asaka. They had on display a broadcast quality color camera with a camera head that weighed only 14 pounds and a backpack of 14 pounds. In 1974 and 75, I worked with the Asaka in Hawaii and Alaska and in the western United States, and it was exhilarating not to need a control room on wheels to shoot color video images almost anywhere. 